Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at how to use Amazon's S3 cloud storage uh, to run a BitTorrent tracker and CEDAR. So first maybe a little introduction of why you would want to use S3 as a BitTorrent tracker and CEDAR. So let's uh, let's take a look at this diagram. So up here we have Amazon's server and all these other circles are PCs so people on PCs and let's say you want to release a one gigabyte file and you put it up on Amazon servers on S3 one gig so if every one of these users was to download your file you will have a total of five gigabytes of bandwidth usage. So one gig, one gig, one gig, one gig, one gig. So what BitTorrent allows you to do is as this first user is downloading the file, he can immediately, as soon as he started downloading, he will immediately be able to share it with everybody else. So all of these users, all the other users will not have to hit uh, your st Amazon storage and eat up the bandwidth so this can greatly reduce your costs depending on your f uh, the amount of files you're sharing and uh, the amount of users involved because all of these users will be sharing between themselves and they, they will also be able to get it from Amazon so in case uh, there are no other users who are sharing the file they can still get it from from the Amazon cloud but otherwise they can share it among themselves and as you can see this can greatly cut down on uh, on, on the amount of bandwidth you're going to use on your Amazon uh, account S3 account okay so let's check it out you need to go to your um, Amazon console uh, log into your console uh, go to the S3 tab of course, you, you need to sign up for a three first. You need to give them their uh, credit card because they're going to charge you as you use it. You you want to create a bucket. You know, a bucket is basically a file storage place. It's almost like a folder. So I'm going to call it torrents. And the thing about buckets is they have to be globally unique. So if someone else is using a name already, you can't use it. So I'm to call it Roman torrents hopefully that's available you can choose the region where your files are going to be stored so if most of your users are in the US choose the US otherwise choose an appropriate location I'm gonna go with Ireland here create and if the name is available this will create the bucket otherwise you get an error and you have to change the name so a bucket has been created you can see right now uh, my bucket is empty so we need to add some files the file which we want to uh, share on BitTorrent so click on upload up here go to add files and here is the file I want to share this is a, a movie Big Bug Bunny it's an open source movie it's an animated movie I just open and then start your upload oh also you can use reduce redundancy storage uh, which makes the storage cheaper but reduces the the redundancy of, of, of the file so you it's more likely that uh, your file will be unavailable at certain times or that it's more likely that they'll lose your file so if if the file is not critical and you have a backup somewhere you can use reduce redundancy and save yourself a few cents so i'm going to go start upload and it's going to be uploading that i'm just going to wait for it to upload okay uh, our upload is done you can see the file is appearing in our bucket big buck bunny now what you want to do is to allow public access to your file because all files in s3 are by default private so you want to right click the file go to properties and then go to 
permissions add more permissions you want to select everyone and you want to allow everyone to open and download the file and save close that now what you want to do now is right click the file properties and then find the link this link is the URL of the website so anyone with this link can start downloading, downloading your file immediately so let's just try that open a browser paste and go and you'll see that that uh, my browser is prompting me to start downloading the file for Oops, don't have permission to save into C drive. It's going there, okay. Just change the file name. So I can start downloading this file and if I look at my downloads, you can see the file is downloading. Now, that's not a torrent, of course. So what I want is to turn this link into a torrent. So take that link, paste it into your web browser, and then at the end of the link, add question mark torrent and press enter and now Amazon will generate a torrent file for your file so you see this is a torrent file I'm just gonna save that in the same location torrent save and now my torrent file is downloaded this is a file you want to share with everybody or everybody we want to allow to download your file you don't want to share the public link because if you share the public link people just gonna do, are going to hit your s3 storage and you're not gonna get any savings what you want to do is share this file so you would put this file on your website you can send it in emails and so on so what everybody would do is just uh, use a torrent client to open this file for example i have BitTorrent and you will see that it will download this file from Amazon yeah give it a few seconds and you see it's starting downloading already now the more people you get you have the more you savings you get and the better speed your users will get okay thank you very much that's it